have decided to recreate my beautiful prom dress that I wore when I graduated, um, God, 13 years ago? No, 13? It's been 13 years. Okay. <laughs> so the story behind this is that um, I actually don't know where this dress is. Between moving um, areas, I didn't take it with me um, originally and it's just, I thought it would be safe in my childhood home and apparently that is not the case because no one seems to know what happened to it. So I'll show you a couple pictures. <laughs> so this is the dress. You can see it is very bright in color. <laughs> um, sheath and um, yeah, just, I don't have any pictures from the back, but it had a little train. So yes, that is why we are recreating my prom dress. I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be a multi-video um, series, I'm thinking. So this first episode will feature actually blocking out the muslin and creating the pattern. The next episode will be um, cleaning up the lines and the pattern ready for cutting and then we'll get fabric and then we'll make the actual dress. First thing you want to start with is marking out your design lines. I'm using some sticky um, tape for that to mark out my seams and necklines and sleeve area. Um, you can buy this on Amazon, but you can use twill tape as well or any sort of thin um, braid to mark out your seam lines. Um, there's the armhole and I'm just backing away from the design and um, looking at it from a distance to make sure that my uh, seams are straight and they're in a nice curve and all that sort of thing. I also like to mark my side seam um, and center fronts and center back. So very simple design. It's going to have pretty much just two pieces um, on either side, so a front and a back. Um, and I'm just sort of guessing from memory for the back here because I didn't actually have pictures, like I said, of what the back looked like. I'm just sort of remembering I did the same sort of shape, but I'm doing it a little bit lower than I think it was probably. Um, so this center back seam is where the zipper will be. And now I'm measuring out um, the width and length of the muslin pieces. I add about uh, five inches to each side just to give some extra. Now I'm just um, ironing out the muslin, making sure that grain line is nice and straight before I drape it onto the mannequin. And you wanna just do straight across or straight up and down with the iron to make it nice and straight. So see I've uh, marked the grain line on the center front there and that's what I'm using to sort of um, attach to the dress form and I'm also attaching at the bust point there and now it's just a bunch of fiddling <laughs> it might look like fiddling but <laughs> it's um, actually just working out that ease of the muslin and you can see I'm cutting off a lot of extra there um, to sort of make it more manageable when I'm draping um, there I was figuring out the, um, the amount that I wanted gathered and I'm starting to mark out my center front, uh, or my center bust dart there on the front. Um, which I didn't have on the original design which I noticed when looking at the pictures and that is probably why you see a lot of, um, extra material that shouldn't really need to be there. Um, I didn't actually make darts, I, um, I believe I must have taken them off from the side, which works in some cases, but um, I think darts are there for a reason, and um, they're really the best way that you can get rid of that um, ease and extra material there to get that shaping. So now I'm fine tuning the darts in the front there, and I'm still going to keep that, um, they'll just be gathered instead of <laughs> The brooch that I had there was the reason why it was um, gathered in the front on the original. So now I want to just trace over um, that tape so I can see it in the f um, on the actual material. And now I'm starting with the back, um, same process, 
start with draping the material over top and pinning um, along your pattern shapes there using the seam tape. Um, I started with uh, just one dart and I figured it was going to be too large so I do end up splitting it into two darts for the back. Now here I am cutting off the extra there on the side to do the side seam. Um, I should have actually done the center back more in the center of the piece so that I had that extra on the other side to work with the train more because I ended up not having enough. My train was too long and you'll see that um, later on. But now I am doing the side seam so I'm just folding over the um, material for that seam allowance. It will all be trimmed off in the end but I'm just trying to work out the fullness of the skirt now with the darts and getting them worked out. This takes probably the longest time that I worked on it. It was a little bit frustrating, but um, trying to get the dart shape right and um, thinking back to the dress, it was pretty tight around my hips, so I did it all finished and looked at it and said, you know what, this is not, uh, this is too full. This is uh, not as tight as I wanted on my hips, so I ended up reshifting it over and um, tightening it against the hip a little bit more, but still had a nice um, wider skirt than I think the original had. And that's what you can see here. The darts are all worked out. They end at your hip. Um, nice side seam, and you can see the piece that I have added to the train um, to make it a little bit more wide. See, I ended up if I had added extra to um, the center back there, I would have had a lot more material to work with to fill in that train, but you, you make do, and you um, that's what's great about working with a muslin first. You can figure out all that sort of stuff and just add where you need to if you mess up. So now I'm making sure that the um, hemline is nice and straight. So you have a train, so it's gonna have a slight curve in it, so I'm just, um, working out how it would look on the actual finished um, hemline. So to do that I'm folding up sort of the fabric to get the shape that it will actually fall on the floor nicely and look like a nice curve and especially for the train there you want it to be all squared off and straight. So it just is about doing it by eye. Um, I use a ruler at one point, see I'm drawing out, see I'm folding it up to make uh, the nice hem line shape there, and then we're trimming. It's, it seems like <laughs> I'm trimming off a lot, but it actually um, is all in good uh, in order here. Um, so now I'm yeah doing the ruler just to get uh, a nice curve to it, a proper curve to get that nice shape. Um, and then you want to step back again, like I said, look at it from afar, look at it in a mirror, just um, see how it looks. So here's the final dress. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, next will be the tricky task of straightening out those lines, going over them with a ruler, making sure they all are nice and straight and tidy. And we'll do the seam allowances, do all that, do all the darts, get it ready for cutting pretty much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. But in the meantime, happy sewing.